G'day. This is just a small video I've put together discussing the configuration and use of a free VPN solution called Zero Tier One. Some of us still like playing uh, legacy games that require a LAN environment. However, despite there being quite a few so-called game-friendly VPN solutions, we came to discover that compatibility and availability was an issue forcing us to spend more precious time juggling those solutions and less time actually playing. I'd like to start by saying I have no affiliation nor special interest in Zero Tier. I just thought it would be helpful to make a video for those who are struggling to understand how Zero Tier works since, at least for me, YouTube videos that were good guides were hard to come by. So the way Zero Tier works is that clients, that's me, my friends, install software that appoints them a unique 10-digit node ID. Each client then connects to a Zero Tier network managed in the cloud with its own 16-digit ID. But there'll be more on that later. For now, it's time to install the client. So you need to head to the Zero Tier website, www.zerotier.com, and go ahead and uh, navigate to where you download the free version of Zero Tier. So although Zero Tier can operate on various uh, operating environments, this tutorial focuses on Windows only. So once you come to the download page, go ahead and start to download zerotier1.msi. Shouldn't take you too long, it's only a small program. Once it's finished downloading, go ahead and start to install it. The install wizard is very straightforward with minimal configuration. Once it's finished, allow it to launch the client. At the end of the install, the software will actually ask you to create an account. You can do that here. Only one person of, of your group needs to do it. But once it's done, it will give you access to an online uh, web portal called Zero Tier Central. And uh, from there, you can start to configure your network. Because I've already uh, created my account, I can actually log straight into my client to get started. Now that I've logged into the client, um, it is asking me to create a network. I would advise against creating a network at this point of the install, um, but instead logging into the Zero Tier Central website and configuring the network there because you have all the options that you require to uh, configure to make uh, a game-worthy network available to you. So I'm just going to close this, but it will remain running in my system tray, and I'll talk about how that all comes together later. So when you're creating a network, anybody can be the administrator of their own network. But to get things started, only one person needs to set up a network for him and others to connect to. If you're still on the Zero Tier website like I am, you can go to the login section and enter your account details created at the end of the client install. After a login, you will need to go to the network section. I'm going to log in now and show you what that looks like. After logging in, click on the network section and click Create. Zero Tier makes it easy by automatically creating both a network ID and an accompanying friendly name. You can create more networks if you so desire, but you only really need one. Click on your new network to enter its configuration. The configuration page I'm covering will be in two sections to hopefully simplify things. I don't profess to be the most qualified pe person to explain this, but I know what has worked for me, so hopefully it'll work for you too. The first section is a part of the web page that you see now that I'll call the network settings. This is a section that allows granular settings to be applied. 
For legacy IPv4 gaming, these are the settings I recommend. So this is the network ID that's been uh, automatically allocated to you for the network. As I said, it gives it a friendly name, but you can actually change that name to anything you like and add your own unique description. For gaming though, because you only have one network and keeping uh, an organization of multiple networks might require uh, more descriptive names and descriptions, you might uh, be bothered trying to put that together. But in our case, just because we're playing games and we want to keep it simple, you can just leave it as, as the default name. It makes absolutely no difference. Moving down to access control, you can either encrypt the tunnel that the traffic uh, exists on or not. And uh, zero tier actually recommend in this uh, settings section here that you can expand in, in your own time that gaming probably fits better on a public network because no secure information is really being sent. The other thing you'll need to do is enable broadcast. LAN games require uh, the ability to broadcast uh, between clients. That is to allow um, clients to know that there is a server running. So without this ticked, you often find that you can't find other people's games. This section up here just indicates which particular IPv4 range uh, this network will be residing on. You can accept this or you can choose something different. The only thing I would recommend is if you have a private IPv4 address range already signed by your modem router, try and choose something that's in a different range. So for example, if your router leases out 192.168 private IP from its DHCP, perhaps consider moving to a 10 or a 172 IPv4 range. And lastly in the network session, IPv6. I, legacy games don't use IPv6, only use IPv4 technology. So my recommendation is untick all these settings uh, as you will not be requiring them. The last section down the bottom of the web page is the members section. It's from here that you'll actually see your friends connect to your network, including yourself, to know who's part of the network. In order to do this part, you will need to take the 16 di digit network ID, take a copy of that now, go back to your zero tier client application next to your clock and date, right click and go join network. Paste the network ID into that box, leave all the other uh, options as default and click join. As you can see, uh, a network adapter is being allocated to my computer, a virtual adapter, but I want to make sure it's public because uh, I don't want to be sharing files or have the ability for people to connect to my uh, data on my computer. So on anything other than Windows 10 or Windows 8, perhaps Windows 7, that would be also what's called a public network. Okay, what's just appeared is my connection now to the network. And to check it's you, this is your node ID. And if I right click 0 to 1 again, you will notice that the node ID, starting with B2C, ending with F08, matches this ID. So that's actually me, who's already connected. And this is my own virtual IPv4 address. So if you've done... Uh, if you know even the most simple networking, you know that uh, each person in a network gets their own IP address. Usually that comes from your modem router with their DHCP. In this case, Zero Tier is assigning it to your computer from this network. And when your friends connect to this network as well, using the same procedure, you will see them listed underneath on separate lines. You will see their node ID and you will see their new managed IP address from zero tier. 
and using that IP address, depending on the game of course, you can then connect to their server if that's the way you want to do it, or you can allow broadcasting to do its magic, and when you go to multiplayer, you should see their server pop up because it's been broadcasted. Cross fingers after that's all been done, there's nothing else to do except play your game. So just go into your game as normal and either connect by the, your, the IP address option in your game or wait for the um, game to be broadcast in the multiplayer lobby. I hope this has been helpful, but if something doesn't work or a game is not compatible, it's very likely that I won't know the answer, so I'm sorry. However, there is a community at Zero Tier who might be able to help. Feel free to go in there and ask your questions. They are a friendly bunch of guys. Good luck and happy legacy gaming.